Hey guys, what's up? It's Rogue Knight, your favorite YouTuber, in my opinion, I guess. Well, uh, welcome to part three of the beginner's car modeling series. But before we start modeling, if you're new here or haven't subscribed already, then please subscribe so you're always updated of my new upcoming videos. And if you want the finished blend file, you can get it on Patreon as well as on Gumroad. Well, back to Blender. We were here when we left off in the last tutorial. We will now focus on the front part. I will show you two ways to make room for headlights. Go to front view, double G to slide this vertex. I to inset. Shift R to repeat what we just did back there, which was doing inset. Delete this face and then GX to fill in the gap. Now extrude these two faces backward a bit. And this is it. You now have a place for your headlights and the grills. But this trick can work only for old cars, some muscle cars and also for low body cars. Well now I will show you another trick. You don't have to follow the next few steps, you can only watch it if you want. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be helpful, you should watch it. While you are in front view, select these two faces, extrude and then scale them down a little bit. Remove this face. GX to fill in the gap. And now extrude backwards. Well, here you can also modify the shape even more if you want. Like after extruding, you can bevel the edges and make the corners rounder a little bit more. Like I said, much can be done. Shift A, bring in a cube. It can also be a cylinder or even a circle as well. Depends if the car needs round headlights or not. Go to front view, scale it up, Try to have small spaces on all sides of the headlights so it doesn't look like it's the part of the car's main body. While in edit vertex leg mode, try to match the shape. Remember you should have x-ray view turned on.
bring in a bevel modifier segments to 2 then right click and shade smooth now check auto smooth alt d to duplicate then sx minus 1 to make a completely mirrored copy then gx to drag into the other end Now it's time to create the metal part between the grills and the headlights. Shift right click to put the cursor right about there. Shift A, bring in a cube. While in X-ray view, select the top vertices and drag them upward. Now it's the same, Alt D to duplicate it and then move it to the other side. Or Z180 to rotate so that it's facing correctly. Yeah, right about there. You can continue modifying other parts as well if you think they need some modifications here and there. Right click, shade smooth, then check out a smooth. Time to make the grills. Shift A, bring in another cube. Scale it down. Try to match it with the reference. Make it thin a little bit more. Now scale it along its x-axis. Ctrl R to add an edge loop. It's uh, inside the car's main body. You can view it while in X ray view. GY to move the selected edge outward a little bit. Select the outer edges and move them backward. Actually what we're going to do is that we will delete the vertices on one side and then we will use the mirror modifier.
smooth these vertices inward a little bit more yeah it's uh, looking much better now Shift D to duplicate and then move it upward. Now Shift R and it will repeat our last action. But now we need to adjust some of them manually as well. While in edit vertex select mode, turn on X review. Go to front view. Move these vertices along X axis to fill up the space. Now you just have to repeat this process for the rest of them. Well, the headlights and the grills part is done and this is it for today hope you're enjoying and learning a lot from these tutorials and if you are new here then please subscribe so you are always updated of my new upcoming videos see you in part 4 then take care happy blending